The UNH Violin Craftsmanship Institute started in 1974. It's evolved from that in the last 42 years to include five weeks of instruction with master craftsmen in bow making, bow rehairing, bow repair, violin building, violin maintenance. The edge goes straight up. Okay. I think it's fair to say that a number of professional shops around the country did get their start here at UNH. We offer a very high level of training. There's a lot of uh, very direct personal instruction that goes on. This is my, I believe it's my eighth season here. I've been doing this since age 16. I made my first violin. I'm 58 now, so there's well over 40 years of experience to pass on. What if you heated it and flipped it, flipped it around? Heat it, remove it, and flip it around. I think being here as a student first and then a teaching assistant for 10 years after that before becoming a full teacher gave me a, a great understanding of their goals, how excited and nervous they may be about being here for the first time. They want to be successful but don't know that they will be. So I treat them and treat this course material with great determination to not just call it a hobby, not just call it a craft, but to really think of this as a vocational technical training program. This is their apprenticeship. So it's a serious business and it, uh, I think it attracts people from all over the world. And this is a real luxury for a whole lot of us to come to a university campus and to really get focused. Um, we have an 18 year old who's a music student. Um, I might be the grandfather at age 68. So I'm a retired physician. We have a retired law professor. We have a few construction workers a math professor, a whole variety of people. Um, this is just not a program for someone to just do slipshod work. The bar is very, very high. Um, even though none of us are professionals, um, that's the goal that we aim for. It, there's nothing like having someone looking over your shoulder who knows exactly what they're doing. So um, I've bought a couple of books, I have a set of CDs, um, and they're very helpful but it's still not the same as having an expert craftsman who's done this hundreds of times looking over your shoulder and making um, corrections so that you'll come as close to um, the violin that you want to make as you possibly can. And I can't imagine learning another way. I can't imagine learning in a different setting. Um, I think it's just the right amount of time for somebody to come learn a process and go home ready to start a business ultimately. In the stick here when you're coming forward. Okay. So if you come from the wrist. Yeah. I, I really do try to empower the students here to, to go home, think independently, not just look in the book and say it, it has to be done to a certain uh, measurement or you know a certain script. Well, I really believe in the program here. I think the instructors are world class, both in their technique, in their proven field, but also in their commitment to the students. We aren't here to keep secrets for the students, but to empower the students so that they have much time where they're doing things hands-on, and they go home with the skills that they need to really be able to consider seriously working in this field. It's a top-notch program and I'm proud of it.